So I want to show you this Eclipse. I go to, first I want to put a roller bearing and I just simply select a point on the cylindrical surface and doing that so the genius automatically selects the uh, size of the uh, inner board diameter and just simply made faces my bearing is positioned I want to add a circlip groove and a circlip as you see okay now I go to the menu circlips first I want to make a key seat the first thing I should do is just roughly position the key seat then as you will see the key seat has a red and a blue face now I can just move the circlip feature by just selecting the red face to mate that face okay as you see it, the faces are mated the, sick, uh, the groove feature is moved up that face now I have to select the circlip part and simply just go and select the groove feature so the genius reads the data from the groove feature and selects automatically the circlip type Okay, and I can also, if you wish so, rotate in you know, axial direction, C clip, and another option is uh, just to move the C clip from face to face. As you see, it has you know a small space uh, to be moved inside the groove. In the second example, um, I want to show you how to add you know, to the end of the shaft a C clip. Again, I go and select the groove option. First, place it somewhere on the shaft. Then, with the offset value, I give offset value of five millimeters, and this time move the blue face up to here with five millimeter offset. Okay, and select the circlip on the groove, and here we go. As you have seen, uh, circlip dimensions are automatically taken from the groove, and the groove dimensions are taken from the shaft diameter. That's it. Thank you.